Close your eyes. Take a couple of good long, deep in and out breaths and notice where you feel the breathing in the body. Focus your attention there and then ask yourself if it's comfortable. You can experiment for a while to see what might be more comfortable. Try it longer or shorter, deeper, more shallow, heavier, lighter, faster, slower. Find a way of breathing that you like. You're finding a sense of well-being in the present moment, but also you're developing good habits for the future. Because you could just be resting, but you're doing more than resting when you're meditating. You're training good qualities in the mind, like mindfulness, alertness, ardency. Mindfulness is the ability to keep something in mind. To stay with the breath, you have to keep remembering it. Alertness is when you watch what's actually going on. And ardency is the desire to do this well, because you realize that it is for your own benefit, a long-term benefit. When you think in those terms, that's a sign of heedfulness. As the Buddha said, heedfulness lies at the root of every skillful quality there is. Realizing that there are dangers out there, and dangers in the mind, too, that you have to watch out for. But also there are good things you can do that can fend those dangers off. If there's nothing you can do, the heedfulness wouldn't be worth anything. But the fact that your actions can make a difference is why heedfulness is a useful an important quality to develop in the mind. Sometimes a little thing can lead to trouble down the line. Sometimes a little thing, a good little thing, can lead to unexpected good results. Like a kind word, a kind gesture, helping somebody, even if it's just a little bit, makes life lighter in our society. Things are heavy enough as it is, but with the pandemic and with people yelling at each other. It's good that there are some people who say, well, let's hold on to the Buddhist principles, which are that you do good and good's going to result. And you can see that in your own mind. You can choose between doing the wise thing or the unwise thing, the heedful thing or the heedless thing. And it's going to make a difference. And that difference will then ripple out. Sometimes it's hard to see the influence right away. Because as the Buddha said, sometimes these actions give the results that take a while. For the results to happen. But you can be confident. The Buddha and all the noble disciples agree that if you act on skillful intentions, there are going to be good consequences. Act on unskillful intentions, there will be bad consequences. Hold on to that principle. It's very simple, very basic. But the reason it's basic is not because it's just for children. It's, it's basic because it's important. It underlies everything the Buddha taught. You think of all the Buddha's Virtues, wisdom, compassion, purity, they all come from heedfulness. Realizing that your actions will make a difference, and sometimes what seems good right now is not going to give good results down the line. And you decide that you really are concerned about long-term happiness and not short-term. That's the beginning of wisdom. And if you want your happiness to be long-term and lasting, you have to take into consideration the happiness of others, too. You can't abuse them and harm them in your search for happiness, because otherwise they're not going to be happy with your happiness. They'll do what they can to destroy it. So the compassion is based on heedfulness, too. And then purity. I mean, you actually make sure that your actions are in line with the principles of what's right. You don't just go on good intentions. You look at the actual results you get, and then you adjust your actions accordingly. And that way your good intentions turn into skillful intentions. And that's what's going to lead to long-term happiness. So there you are, wisdom, compassion, purity. They all come from heedfulness. So take care in what you do and think and say. Because these things lie within your range of responsibility. There's so many things that we know about in the world that we're not responsible for. And we get worked up about them. But we have to remember what we are responsible for is what we do and say and think. So make sure that you act and speak and think in a heedful way, watching out for dangers and also appreciating the good things you can do. And that way the happiness you look for will be a true happiness, a long-term happiness. 
one that's worth all the effort that goes into it, a happiness that will not disappoint. <laughs>